Hey guys, welcome to part two of my making a Discord bot in Python YouTube series. I don't know. I, I still don't have this introduction or even an outro down. But in this video, we're going to be going over events and how you can implement them in your bot. So what is an event? It's essentially just uh, a bit of code that runs when the bot detects uh, sort of uh, a specific Activity, yeah, sorry, okay, I'm stuttering a little bit. Let me say that again. It is a piece of code that runs when the bot detects that a specific activity has happened. That's probably the most simplistic and straightforward way of me explaining it. So what, can you give me an example of that? Well, an example would be, for example, someone sends a message. If you go through the documentation, you'll see there is an event called on message, similar to the on ready event that we created in our last video. And essentially, if you were to implement the on message event, similar to the way we created this on ready event, let me just highlight it properly. That whole thing is the event right there. If you were to implement the on message event, you could then run code every time a message is sent that the bot can see essentially. If the bot can't see it, then obviously um, it won't detect that something has happened. All right, so in this video, we're going to be creating two very, very simple functions or very simple events, I should say, because they are functions, but we're gonna to refer to them as events because that is sort of what they are. And uh, these two functions are going to detect when a person has joined a server and when a person has left a server, all right? And all we're gonna say is we're going to print out, you know, user has joined the server, user has joined, or user has left the server, all right? So let's see, how can we do that? First of all, we need to have our uh, function decorator as we have up here. All right, so at client.event. By the way, the reason I have client here instead of something else that maybe you guys will need um, is because I have used the variable client um, to hold my instance of my bot. All right, so for example, if I used a variable um, bot, which I see a lot of people using, then over here in my, uh, in my function decorators here, or my event decorators, because you know, they're the decorators for the events. Actually, they're the decorators saying that our functions are events. So that was confusing. But in the decorators, you will need to have, um, you will need to be consistent with the name of the variable that you used for the instance of your bot. All right, so I'm using client. So I have client here, I have client here, and I have client here. But this should be pretty obvious if you understand Python, which you should. If you're, if you're trying to make a Discord bot, you should know how to program in Python, at least the very basics, or you're gonna be very confused. All right, so now we need to create uh, a asynchronous function. So async def, and the function's name specifically is on member join. And if you read through the documentation, you will see that the, the event takes in a member. All right, and the member is a member object. You can go through the documentation again to see sort of everything that the member object can do, but for now we're just gonna be printing it. All right, so inside our event, we are going to say print, whoa, print. I'm just going to make a little F string here and I'm gonna say print member has joined a server. All right, and that is essentially our very first event, so anytime uh, the bot sees that someone has joined any of the servers that is, it is connected to, it will say a uh, member has joined. And that's, that's essentially it for the event. I could make it more extensive and I could add a lot more code, you know, do this, do that, I don't know, add information to a database, you know, display a help or a join message, something like that, I don't know. It could be crazy, but for now, just for demonstration purposes, member has joined a server, all right? And we're going to create another event just one more time. It's very similar. So at client.event, again, we always need that decorator. Async def on member remove. That is the, the opposite of on member join. Remove can mean they left the server, they got kicked from the server, they got banned from the server. It just means that someone has left the server that uh, the bot has seen, or they have been removed one way or another, AKA on member remove, right? And as you may have guessed, it also takes in member. And for those of you guys who don't know how I know this takes in member, again, read through the documentation, lots of good information there. If you're still confused reading through the documentation, join the official help server or join my help server. Links will be down below, ask away. 
But again, on member remove, we're just going to say print member has left a server. All right, and these are going to be our two events that we are going to use for demonstration purposes. Uh, so if we run it, let's just make sure we have no errors. It seems like it started up fine, so it didn't detect any syntax errors, I guess. Um, let's close this down for now. So we have our help server here, the bots online. Actually, let's not close this down for now. Let's turn it back on. All right, so we are on uh, in our help server. I have a test account here that I'm going to invite. So let me just grab an invite link here and give me one second, copy paste. Test account, there we go. So the account has joined and as we can see here, test account number 0307 has joined a server. And the reason it says a server and not a specific, not a specific server is because we can't exactly access the server. So if we wanted to use a server inside that function, we'd have to use different methods that, again, discord.py, or sorry, you can read through the documentation and look through all the various methods that you could use to obtain a server object, but it's not given to us, unfortunately. So we can't, uh, we can't manipulate it just using the, uh, the uh, function parameters here. So it says has uh, test account has joined a server, and that was triggered through the on member join event. Now, if we kick the account, for example, get him out of here. We can see here, test account 0307 has left a server. And again, we cannot specify what server it is because we have not done anything to obtain the server that he had joined or left or that the account had joined or left. I don't discriminate. <laughs> But, um, but yeah, that's essentially just how to create an event. So these are very straightforward events. You can put much more complex code in them, in them. Nothing is stopping you. But this is sort of how you detect the various activities that go on in, in a Discord server or just that the bot can see. If the bot can see it, there may or may not be an event for it. Uh, I'm not entirely sure of all the events that are there. But again, go to the documentation. Take a look for yourself. Everything is there, anything that you'll ever need. And if there's something that you're still confused on, again, join one of the help servers. Someone will help you out. All right, but that's it for this video. Uh, anything we need to recap? Nothing necessarily, because I did explain what events are throughout this entire video, um, and we went over how to create them exactly. So yeah, that's the end of this video. If you liked it, leave a like. Uh, comment down below for uh, more video ideas in the future. In the next video, we're going to be going over commands. So for those of you guys who want to start creating your dumb little commands that to uh, mess around with your friends and all that, you know, uh, stay tuned for the next one and subscribe because then you'll know exactly when I make it. Um, uh, join the help server down below. Again, I will have the link. There will be tons of links down there. There will be a link to the GitHub documentation, help server, and the official help server. The help server being my help server. Um, all four of those links they were also in the last video, if, in case you missed that. Go check that out if you haven't already. And uh, yeah, I think that's it. All right. Bye.